let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about Anya Taylor Joy. Mm. You know how Nicole Kidman has her ears on the back of her head? Yes. Miss Taylor Joy has her ears on uh, just three inches back uh, to the temple. So, so you take, it looks like she should have pulled them forward hammerhead and, and shark. glued it, glued it a little yeah, further, like a hammerhead oh. shark kind of. She, her, the space between her very beautiful, gorgeous eyes has got to be about eight to ten, nine inches. I mean, I'm not, I'm kidding, but like it is, it is wild. And and this is. This is just an observation because she's living with me now, so she's my roommate. And it, you know, <laughs> no, we saw Furiosa. She's really fallen, you know, Furiosa. And I'm just like, oh, who, right. who's that otherworldly model? Uh, who's that otherworldly model? Oh, it's Furiosa, F- but it's not Furiosa. This is some. This is Jennifer, another planet. She is like so glamorous, so wonderful. I think they should have stopped at a Thunderdome. Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah, they should no Thunderdome. A Thunderdome. Thunderdome. What about With Thunder? Tina Turner. Uh, what about Thunder Stadium? I think Thund- we're doing Thunder Baseball Field. <laughs> baseball Diamond. Thunder um, Bowling Alley. <laughs> <laughs> no, so wait. I saw <laughs> Thunder Furiosa axe throwing. <laughs> yeah. Thunder, thund, beyond Thunder Paintball Axe Throwing Bachelorette Weekend. <laughs> beyond Thunder <laughs> Sipping Paint. Oh, eating paint chips. Love. <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone recently said that paint chips are sweet. The lead paint chips are sweet, oh, and that's why kids would eat them? Well, this is... N- regardless of their sweetness, I would say just please stop doing that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You got to um, huff whippets. I've done that. It's so fun. I mean, it was. Yeah. Well, at, it was. In high school, there's a time and a place, and it's called high school. It's called high school, yeah. Miss Demi Moore, you know, high school. You know, there was a time and place where kids did not get killed in school. They actually did drugs and skipped class. Well, we went to the grocery store. We purchased the uh, whipped cream. It was all very innocuous. It was all very, uh, it was all very uh, Pollyanna. Is this a Massachusetts thing? No, we just okay. go to the grocery store. We get three cans of um, whipped cream. Which and flavor? <laughs> Doesn't kind. matter. Doesn't matter. I think they only had one back then. Mm. And they'd be like, wow. But it only lasts for like 10 minutes max. Yeah, that's long enough. I, I think g- that's long enough to think that you might be dying. Oh, no, no, no. This was exhilarating. See, I haven't done it since high school. I don't remember. I can't well, remember we should, that Why don't back. we do it now? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know Trixie has some uh, whip, whipped cream in the fridge. She's your... Any girl over 35 has to have some whipped cream in the fridge. I don't think she's a size 35, mama. That's true. <laughs> Although I will say that it, I was like trying to prepare to like sit in her chair oh. today and I didn't know how it would be. It's all it's a very roomy. It's a little stretched out. And yeah, a lot of springs are kind of coming through. Yeah. She loves that, you know. Broken, worn in. Texture. Yeah. <laughs> also, I am, I, would, I, th- I think it would be funny if like when she comes back, I have installed a very like intricate um, cock and ball, not not cock and ball. Booby sorry, track? sorry. Electrocution, like um, you know when Ghostbusters where they're like, you know, if they if they don't get it right, they go Zzz. like but, a small shock that you could maybe like gaslight her into thinking she's just making up. Yeah, I'd be like, what's wrong with you? You're so <sighs> jittery today. Is everything fine? Did you have a lot of iced coffee? Should we call the doctor? And then and then it just like like <laughs> builds up to the most <laughs> like. Ugh. I don't think she needs another excuse to call the doctor. No, but I would like to call the doctor for her and then, you know, be like, hey, my friend is pregnant and she doesn't know what to do. Yeah. Can I have the baby for her? <laughs> I'm worth to eat it. So what have you seen movie-wise lately, Mary? Because I need to know about your movie proclivities. <laughs> I did I did rewatch uh, Dune 1 and 2. Do you Now, the double feature, how, would, how is that? It's a long time. It's a long time. Um, snacks were had. It's great. Remember when we saw Dune 2, we saw it at that really fancy theater where they ordered snacks. You food got to have your the fuck. seat. Oh, and I sure did a gobble down at least three, three of those orders giant of, pretzels. Yeah, three orders of pretzels. That was incredible. Cunty. It was good. I will say that right after 
uh, unprompted, started to play the new uh, Lady Gaga concert film. Um, Luck be a lady. To, I oh, no, wish. Oh, not the, not I the Tony wish Jen- it was. Oh, 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 oh I, I see what you mean. If I, it was the Vegas, like, Tony Razzle Dazzle show, yes, sign me up for that. No, this was the. The lady is a yeah, tramp. This is like the 50 year old trying to sell, so, put your claws up. I think she's worth, I think that she's worth, you know, she should. <laughs> the chromatica of it all. Oh, God. The chromatica, the, the, sp- uh, the, the poop. There's a, there's like a 30 minute monologue about who knows the she goes sciatica sur- the chromatica the agita <laughs> the, the angina uh, you know what's the fake uh wh- fake <laughs> the rich person illness lime <laughs> no no, oh. no 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 she's got fibromyalgia oh fibromyalgia oh, don't you dare say that's fake fibromyalgia <laughs> chronic pain but my new thing have you do you know about this I I, I oh God I went on TikTok for fucking no fucking reason the other day. And this bitch, she said, Lyme, as in Lyme disease. Not Lyme drink. Is a a blessing from another universe. And I think that it's a galactical blessing, you know? And, and, and the person was like, I never thought about it like that. Yes, you're, oh my God, that makes so much sense. And I'm like, you people need to go take a very long walk. I've never known a normal person to have Lyme disease. It's only had by well, the very eccentric. I've never known a normal person on TikTok talk about Lyme disease as an intergalactic blessing. But what were the dance moves that went with it? It was a ha, ha, ha. It was a back and then it was a choo, 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 and then a choo. But it was not very, I mean, I think... You know, it was a lot of crumping too. Oh, okay. I think crumping that's is lime a, and crumping. I, and then the coconut. I know that one. Oh, yes, of course. The lime and you the coconut. You crump the lime in the coconut and then you get... Uh, it's it's a, a Margaritaville. <laughs> Margaritaville. Yes, five from my own. Would you listen to Jimmy Buffett? The, if, only, the only people that like Jimmy Buffett are alcoholics from the South and frat boys. I would say not frat boys, but mostly 30 to 40 to 50 year old cougar women who will literally, they will suck the dick right off your body. Now, granted, they've had three cocktails. Margaritas, of course. What do their teeth look like? Who cares at that point? I absolutely care. Cheeseburger in paradise. It's not dental damn. It's not, it's not. There's dick cheese burger in paradise (laughs) happening somewhere. I mean, come on. The teeth matter. But Jimmy Buffett's an, it, it's an, he's for every man, you know? Whether you got dentures, whether you got nothing, whether you got one good gray tooth that is haunt, you know, haunts a costume shop for seven years. <laughs> we you know. recently were in a, a vehicle. Look <laughs> at my legs. I just need you to look at them. Well, we see. I wish this is as fucking, sorry, excuse my. This is as fucking tan as my legs can get. It's pathetic. Yeah. What I think I'm going to do, Cartman Snowman, um, Cartman Winter Gear. Do you know what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, and then Daisy Dukes, oil. Oh, oil. Yeah. Three hours at, you know, three hours and just watch them brown mahogany yeah mahogany you do the stand up and you get the uh uh nairobi sunset uh tanning (laughs) lotion and then you know kenyan (laughs) kenyan (laughs) rays okay so wait i actually have a lot of things i want to talk to you about you lost four thousand pounds yes where'd you put it well did jock did dr jill biden Take it, would she excise? Of course she. Uh, well, some of it's at Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, it'll, wait, be, wait. it'll be found. It will be found. Will it be donated to? No, I don't believe in that. Oh, thank God. I don't God. believe in charity. <laughs> Speaking of which, sorry, so God, let me go. I just, I have to talk about this South Park movie so bad. It's I mean, so good. It, it's it, so it, fucking good. I'm not Lizzo? A, so let's explain to the people. I um, <laughs> South Park movie 
The new South Park movie is called. What, so what they've been doing instead of doing seasons, they've been releasing these like long, longer like uh, an hour movie. Like, an hour, yeah, love it. Yeah, it's a perfect amount of time to get a story out and together and yada yada yada. Mm-hmm. And this most recent one was the uh, South Park Ozempic. The end of obesity. End of obesity. End of. Obesity. And so basically it was this, it's hysterical, these um, housewives who become these drug adult. Oh, it's incredible. They all wear crop top, crop top, midriff bearing abs. crop tops. And they're so Skinny obnoxious abs. and they're like, hi, ooh, ah. And you're going to come over to do some drugs, drugs with us? We're all doing drugs. Ooh, ah. And Stan's dad, who is a pot farmer. Yeah. He's like a classically druggy. Oh, classic yeah, druggy alcoholic. Runs a good little. <laughs> whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, uh, he runs into these girls and gets sucked into their uh, so he, yeah, drug ring. He thinks it's like he an thinks it's like heroin. Yeah. He thinks they're doing heroin. Meanwhile, he's like just Andrew doing... Dick works. I love that part. Yeah. Oh, I know. He's like so. Wait. So I, I'm confused by these drugs. Like uh, I party all night and. And my, my dick still works. Dick still works, but then I'm kind of satisfied. And I'm not hung over the next day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's funny. It is but, funny. So wait, explain to the people. So of course there is a shortage of Ozempic because it's so cost prohibitive. And then there is a cheaper version. However, for the very poor, they are prescribed Lizzo. Not only that. The very poor don't get the medication or the drugs. The very poor get body positivity. That yes. was the best part of the whole thing. It was like in in the in the form yeah. of Lizzo, a, yeah. a prescript a cheap prescription <laughs> to body positivity that says you have a big body and it's okay, girl. You're gonna own it. And she did a video reacting to it. Really, and she was into it. Into what? <laughs> <laughs> now wait, into the she, body positive. Is she on us? No. Okay. No. No. I well. think uh, um, probably just baby aspirin and mm-hmm. um, then t- take vitamin C. Oh, please! I hate vitamins. They're so corny, so played out, so goody Proctor. What is this like? Nineteen eighty-five. Well, so, what is Susan Powder stop the insanity. You drink those shakes. You drink shakes. I do. Shakes are, yeah. Shakes are good. I mean, listen, it's always preferable to get most of your nutrition through solid food. Yes. Yes. But I am still gagged about not having to drink water anymore. Do you know what I'm talking about? Honey, eight glasses of water. No. No. Thing of the past. Yeah. Unsinkable Molly Brown. Yeah. I have one of those tall, smart waters a day. I want to know who started this wives' tale. I bet it big was big water. A big water, but I'm saying who was big? Oh, the Titanic. The Titanic. <laughs> it must have been the Titanic. What, what was that? What was that Michael Moore film where he's like, "Congratulations, we fucked up water." Dasani. Like since like the 50s, you used to be able to drink water out of the tap everywhere Ex- you went, and excuse and now me? you fucked Come up on. water. Remember the 90s? Yeah. If you told us we were, if we walk into a gas station you say, and you tell us. You're never going to believe this. In 10 years, you're going to pay $5 for Dasani bottled water. We would have been like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. You were so full of shit. That's never going to happen. Now, Coachella, $40 Uh for a fucking bottle of water. You can't go into a venue without getting a $5 bottle of water. A $5.45 bottle of water. But guess what, everybody? You don't need to drink water anymore. Just drink when you're thirsty. That's all you got to do. It's yes. serious. I, I am so passionate about this. I don't even care if it's true. But, but you know, <laughs> I know it is though. But staying hydrated is also, there's so many things that we are uh, myths. And what I've learned from having my stomach ripped out yeah. is there is a way to drink water. Come. Yeah. Yeah. No, Elephant. I mean, do you drink when you're thirsty. Well, yes, but also don't chug. You go chugging do you do like an well, that's eye why drop the hamsters go, get are always so plump they're just very well hydrated oh it'd be fierce if you had like a like are a, you kidding me i'd love that next to my bed salt are lick. you kidding me salt lick uh, 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 love it no you have to sip water that's how you hydrate yourself if you chug it it just goes right through you sipping it it displaces through your body evenly mm. I, I just have people just Splash well, me in the hair, you know. Well, you're mostly sweat, so that yeah, some of that I mean, will listen, drip into your mouth. I've and then, got all. The, I'm basically a, like a human still suit. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. I just, oh God, I wish I could. Well, have this one is, of the dune suits. Yeah. Recycle I would love the water. to recycle my urine. I'd also really, I'd like to recycle my feces. Let's take a break. <laughs> Rakuten! Today's episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by our friends at Rakuten. R-A-K-U-T-E-N. It is confusing, but let me tell you, it's Rakuten. Rakuten is the most rewarding way to shop and save because your members earn cash back on everything they buy. So it's basically a shopping platform with partners for over 3,500 stores across every category. Beauty, clothing, electronics, home stuff, department stores, pets, whatever. So you're already shopping at your favorite stores why not save a little money while doing it? I mean, it's a no-brainer. For example, for me, stuff I'd get at Sephora, Ulta, like, like stuff I restock the same product 10 times, it's so much better to get it with a little bit of a savings. Or Best Buy, like for the YouTube channel, quote unquote boring stuff like hard drives and flash drives and like uh, SD cards, stuff I buy all the time. I'd rather save a little money. Rakuten is the smartest way to save money because you can get cash back at over 3,500 stores. I mean, Membership is free, it's easy to sign up, and the cashback rates change daily. Tons of brands, you guys. Macy's, Nike, Urban Outfitters, Samsung, Sephora, Dyson, Petco, Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue. Get the Rakuten app now and join the 17 million members who are already saving. Cashback rates change daily. See Rakuten.com for details. That's Rakuten, R-A-K-U-T-E-N dot com. Your cashback really adds up. This episode is sponsored by the absolute zenith of cat foods, Smalls. Look, folks, I'm a busy woman. Between juggling my career, my family, my charity work with Save the Dingoes in Brisbane, I hardly have enough time to maintain even the most basic amount of personal hygiene. I do, however, put aside time for my cats. In fact, I love to treat my friend's cat with the best cat food money can buy. Just like us homo sapiens, cats want variety in their diet, all right? And if you're a cat owner and you're looking for a healthier cat food for that little creature that scares away Egyptian ghosts from your apartment, I'm here to tell you about Smalls. Smalls includes protein-packed recipes made with preservative-free ingredients you'd find in your own fridge. Also, it's delivered right to your door. After making the switch to Smalls, 90% of cat owners reported overall health improvements. My friend's cat, Jessica Rabbit, she has the most luxurious coat in all of West Hollywood, and that's due to Smalls. In fact, the team at Smalls is so confident your cat will love the product that you can try it risk-free. That means they will refund you if your cat won't eat their food. Because let's be honest, as cat owners, I've had cats, they're picky. But Jessica Rabbit loves Smalls, and she does a little dance every night at dinner time. She has a little, like, silk robe that she takes off to reveal, like, a nude illusion outfit. If you've never seen a calico cat moonwalk and do a split, honey, believe me, it's breathtaking. When she gets up on the pole and starts spinning, oh my god. Her dance moves are top-notch, and she's a shoe in to be on the next season of America's Got Cats. And all because of Smalls. Now is the time to make the switch to Smalls. Head to smalls.com slash bald and use the promo code bald at checkout for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use my code bald for 50% off your first order. One last time, that's promo code bald for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. We got to talk about Immaculate. Can I spoil it for you? Yes. It's fabulous. Did it come out? Yes. Okay. So we're back with Fina Barbatol. And, and Timothy Chalamet. Uh, Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. Um, with uh, S- Sydney Sweeney, um, Euphoria. Mm-hmm. She apparently is a very, very avid lover of horror movies. And so she produced this movie, or she, uh, you know, she wanted to produce the, produce this movie, Immaculate, for many years. Basically, it's like a nun thriller. Mm-hmm. Mama, this lovely woman, so beautiful, with these big, heavy naturals, she enrolls in an Italian convent, and these whores trifling from the very start. And then, long story short, they try to get her pregnant, Genetically, um, sort of try to like baste her with the with the gotcha. son of God. Yeah. Oh, but guess what? She uh, says no, she ma'am. She drank during petty. Oh. She fucking. Pff, 
She fucking queefs it out. Queefs it out and takes a boulder and smashes it to death. Bitch. Uh, That's uh, my girl. That's my girl. I mean, an alternative to uh, having a pregnancy terminated is is having a birth terminated. Yes. Or, or. Talk about a doula though. Is there a doula? Uh, is there any doulas? Girl, are you kidding me? I love doulas. I wish there was a lunch doula. <laughs> you know what I mean? A breakfast doula. Breakfast doula. Breakfast, like, especially at hotels that have like, like really fierce cutoff periods, a breakfast oh, between the 10 and 11 a.m. I hate the cutoff. You know what I mean? I hate the cutoff. They're like, oh, we stopped serving breakfast at 10. I was like, actually, my breakfast doula is here. So they're yeah. going to usher us into the 11 a.m. Yes. eating experience. Why so. stop at like, they stop at an ungodly hour. When you stay in a hotel, it's like you want to wake up at a leisurely time. Well, I think that they probably have a lot of like, you know. You're going to go downstairs, run downstairs Pizzagate. for your 8 a.m. No, like Pizzagate dry ass. meetings. Oh. Uh, you know, those well, kids ain't going to eat themselves. Um, Can you fucking believe all this bullshit that is like really every, every facet of our political mama. life is, is, is I don't, Tim I, and Eric wish they could write this stuff. I don't, I have not put a news channel on my TV in a year. Okay. I don't, I don't, I just can't. I'm, I'm like, uh, nothing that comes out of any of these people's mouths is worth listening to. Oh my God. What was the fucking Kamala Harris thing? Do you remember that? Oh. Unburdened. Oh. Um, if you Google Kamala Harris unburdened. It's going to be diabolical. She, giggles. Giggles. I just call her giggles. This is even worse. She parroted this sort of, the supposed philosophical quant, like an aphorism, I guess, or, or, or yeah, um, what would you call this? I don't even know what you would call it. Parable? This. Parable, maybe. Yeah. 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 I just, I don't even know if that's right. Did I say it right? Um, it, that which can't be unburdened is something. Oh. You know, what can be unburdened by what has been? What can be unburdened by what has been? What can be unburdened she really by what thinks has she been? Is what doing can that. be unburdened by what has been? What we can see, what we believe can be unburdened by what has been. What can be? Unburdened by what has been. What can be? She's talking to Burton Ehrman. Unburdened She's talking to Christian Amanpour. She's talking to the local milkman. By what has been. Who we can be. Unburdened by who we have been. What can be. Unburdened by what has been. Where we can be. Unburdened by where we have been. And unburdened by where we are right now. What can be. Unburdened this by what has been. This 30 uh, Unburdened by what has been. What I, well, I mean, it, I'll obviously uh, spare you it. She is word salad. Uh, they both are. Chat GBT, Fembot, uh, Cherry it, 2000, send from another planet. Just yeah. send it back. Yeah. Yeah. Get that vice president off the TV. I'm not watching that. that. Yeah. Get the receipt. Let's return it. Yeah. To where yeah. I wonder what. See, the, the, the unfortunate thing is that because they're so awful and have turned so many people off from voting in general um the other the other thing is probably going to happen what spontaneous sex change for both of them <laughs> for us i know please well no that probably won't be possible because when the <sighs> other one comes comes uh reaping in girl i don't i've never had the gumption never had the courage never had the wherewithal never had the can do spirit to do you know do all that to Vote. Run for office. No. <laughs> I was going to say transition. I'm telling you, if there's anybody out there that's looking to do anything important in their lives, medically or just in general, you better do it before the next inauguration because Lord knows uh, what things they'll strip away. I have to start my little macrame. No, 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 no. Oh. My like my um my painted china. 
Um, oh, what are they with the gold? Yeah, gold. water like uh, the water. You know what they have the um, water for crystal. Yes. Uh, 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 um, uh, Franklin Mint. <laughs> yes, Franklin yes. Mint. Yeah. Oh, mints. Wait, wait. So let's get back to this fucking outrageous okay. weight loss. I don't want to belabor the point. No, I know I we've talk talked about, about, it. about it before. About it. Okay, good. It's insane. So uh, almost a year ago, in twelve days, it'll be a year. <sighs> I got the gastric sleeve surgery which a lot of people confuse with like uh, the lap band or gastric bypass. So that's when they put on a s- silk. Uh, it's, that- well, it's a, um, it's, it's kind of like a, um, like a nighty. No, wait, so, so, they're so they, of- they go in, they make five one inch incisions. They blow you up with gas. <laughs> Damn. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. And they bonk, 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 <laughs> blow it up. <laughs> They remove, they cut out and solder your stomach back together. They cut out 80% of your stomach and they remove it bloop, through one of these little holes, suck could it out. They, could they do a jack o' lantern? No. I mean, I'm like, but when they blow it, I wonder if they could just do a little like, no. So, but what is the, so there's that, there's like there's, two there's other. A, there, there, yeah. There's, so there's the balloon, which they put down your throat and then they inflate in your stomach. So you feel oh like God. fuller. Then there's this, the actual lap band, which is an actual sleeved thing. That's like strapped around you that squeezes your stomach to make it smaller. And then there's the gastric bypass, which they buy. It's in the name. They bypass the stomach for the esophagus to the that's intestines. That's what you got. No, no, no. Oh. Um, our friend got it a long time ago, got the bypass. I got the gastric right. sleeve, which is the removal of 80% of the stomach. Well, I like that because it's like a, um, it reminds me, you know. It's yeah, a- <laughs> yeah, of a flesh jack. Flesh My jack. stomach is now the size a of a gastric, flesh jack. It's a gastric yeah. flesh jack. <laughs> Yeah. And then the balloon. Mm-hmm. I'm a little scared about the balloon because, you know, balloon animals, I'm a, clowns. I, girl, well, it's funny because like I've gotten a lot of comments or like joke comments on, on my pictures being like, oh, Zempic queen. And I'm like, oh, no. mama, what I did make those Zempic look like fucking baby aspirin. Yeah. Mama, uh, let's see. Um, oh, Zempic is the jacks in the play in, in the in the schoolyard. You are doing canyon swinging. Oh, covered. Um, yeah, covered. Jug- covered jug- girl, you want to talk about uh, Oregon Trail? I built the covered wagon. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you are you are driving down the Audubon, no seatbelt, six hundred. Cut the seatbelt out. Yeah, a couple of them, please. Cut the roof off. You got the killer. Um, uh, this Furiosa. No, 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 no. Um, you got Wendy Williams, killer, ch- tailing you. <laughs> This is just a very extreme sport. What other people are doing is just very like, mm, yeah, turmeric. I'm, yeah, what you're doing cumin. is over. It's cute over there. Yeah. It's cute over there. A baby aspirin here and there, yeah. or an ibuprofen. But guess what? The second they stop taking that Ozempic, it the 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 weight comes back. Yeah, they they, they still haven't figured that out. But anyways, I weighed myself yesterday, and I've to date lost 170 pounds. That is insanity. In how long? One year. One year. Fucking year. Yeah. Have you thought about selling it? Selling all this stuff? What I wish was... Because I mean, Buffalo Bill, you know what I mean? What I wish could happen, which doesn't happen in this country, they'll take a picture of it. Um, eventually, I'm going to have to have some sort of skin removal. Because mm. I'm, I, what I'm left with is right. like an old Louis that Vuitton bag, just kind well, of like a, you know, it, it's kind of if you leave like if you left your a mega fuck slut in the sun in in Palm mm. Springs. Who says I haven't? <laughs> she is a <laughs> she's liquefied. Yeah, she's mama. bendy now. <laughs> Damn. No. Yeah. That's that's for real. I started looking up that's for real videos and photos, and there's not a lot of resources I'm noticing for men that get these surgeries. But essentially, I'm gonna want to have like a 360, which is where they remove all the loose skin from around your whole midsection, front and back. I'm probably gonna want to do my arms, possibly my legs. Yeah. Maybe my tits. And and then you get your pussy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe a lower face left. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I mean, I this is you know not to be. I, I want to be serious for a minute because mm-hmm. I've known you since twenty years almost. Yeah. If you could read my mind, I mean that was twenty two thousand and five, two thousand and six, six, six seven, two thousand uh, five or six. Yeah. Because when I, I was, we met. I was living with. uh 
Juju and Destiny and maybe Ivory still lived there at the point. But we had lived across from Tom Bardwell Mm -hmm. in Jamaica Plain. And then I moved in with Tom Bardwell. Yeah. I mean, we've known each other for, that was like, so that's 28 years. 38, 40 years. It's been. Yeah. Um, You were, I mean, you were like, yeah, you were like the size of um, Charlize Theron. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're taller than me. You're what, what, 6'2", 6'3"? Yeah. Um, I think she's about six five, six. Uh, is she wearing heels? No, no, not anymore. Um, but you were like a, you were a athletic, tall, glamazon person who did lots of like, and you know, uh, oh yeah, the back bends and the like the bends, bridge and the like bridge, the, and you were drag. very physical. You were yeah. very like committed. You've always been committed. As, you know, people at home, if you're not familiar with her concert realness. Um, method of lip syncing, you know, take That's a look was, because a lot of yeah. you people will take a look and then maybe you'll hang it up. Yeah. Because maybe they should. Yeah. There's a few that should, yeah. that should, that ought to. Yeah. It is nice though, getting back into drag now, um, getting back into like doing what I used to do. It's fun. Yeah. Like I go to the gym now you and do, I you do in, drag at the gym. Oh, if only at the gym. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, I can. Top in bottom, LA. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's true. That's not even that. Do you remember that. the first time you took me to Fuck. Runyon Canyon and I was so self-conscious and you were like, Mama, ain't nobody looking at you? No, because there. they can't see through their top and bottom <laughs> lashes. No. And they all are, their mascara is running into their eyes. Yes. And they're like, oh my God, how am I going to do this TikTok? And then they take off their shirt and their breasts it was come out. crazy. Everyone is in full drag walking yeah. up this mountain trying to be discovered well you know and also not only that they're walking up the mountain getting fucked because one of my favorite pornos takes place on Runyon canyon oh yeah all those signs that say like beware of rattlesnakes well 6 a.m 5 30 i would say that's when the snakes wake up hello thank you <laughs> have, we you are- have you seen any like snakes and spiders in la i want to say maybe <laughs> <laughs> no. I see the signs for rattlesnakes and that's enough for me. Yeah. In our old place on a uh, hillside. Remember our old oh, our old If those walls could talk. There was coyotes. I would be coming home. The the craziest thing when we first moved here, I'd be coming home from like WeHo or whatever in a cab and I would be like looking out the window and just seeing coyotes just walking on freaking Hollywood Boulevard. Have you seen mountain lions? No, but I I don't really watch a lot of and no, no. NBC late night. <laughs> no, there's like my the the guy who made these shoes, for example, um, he's got mountain lions in the back of his like uh fucking backyard, Beachwood Canyon, mountain lions. They look like they're from they look like Morgan Freeman should be narrating their like every move. See, I feel like people would assume that like Massachusetts was the sticks. No, we had a very we had many many species of junkie. Yes, <laughs> you yes, know what yes, I mean? yes. And they're really really interesting in the wild. You know, the the, the weevil, the, the wobble, of balance, the, the yeah. never falling over. The center of balance is Love pretty. That center of balance. It's. I think it's like magic. I think it's a physics. I think it's a. I think it's a dancerly kind of. It's obviously been studied. It's obviously like been remarked upon. It's contact and, improv. Yeah, you know, it's like. But when you first r- encounter it, yeah, it's like, it's kind of like you stop and stare. You're like, what? What is 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 love is keeping that guy up? And I'm pretty sure it's science. It's got to be science because love can lift you, but it can't <laughs> but really it can't. keep you from falling. <laughs> That's right. Love can't suspend you. Love can lift you. Exactly. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace, if you don't know, is a website where you can make more websites. It is like a Russian nesting doll. But for more important things like e-commerce and bespoke witch poetry, which, as you know, is one of my passions. Many of you out there are fans of the World Wide Web and you're familiar with the concept of a website. For me, oh my God, I've set up so many websites I can't even count. I mean, in the early aughts, it was like 
I created a very popular site showing which drag clubs in Wisconsin had the cleanest toilets for number two. Hint, um, there were no winners, only variations of losers. But I simply pointed everyone to the gleaming marbled halls of the Macy's at Southridge Mall because honestly, and I'm not going to apologize for that. Now, how can Squarespace help you make the website of your dreams? Squarespace has an unparalleled portfolio of product features for whatever website you're looking to launch. And after you've launched, if you need help with the marketing, Squarespace has a feature that helps drive sales and engage with your audience with creative email campaigns. And if you have some extra knowledge, you can turn into real life money, honey, you need to use Squarespace. You can use it to make online courses. That's right. Squarespace has all the tools you need to create and sell your very own courses and even set it up to be a one-time payment or subscription. Like let's say I wanted to teach you to do drag. I could use Squarespace to do like a series on body, a series on makeup, wigs, market. Like I could basically create a little class on how to do that thing I'm good at. And if you want to create an online store, you can make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. Accept credit cards, PayPal, and Apple Pay, and offer customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. So go ahead and check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash ball to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Again, that's squarespace.com slash bald and save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hi, it's Trixie and today's episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by our friends at BetterHelp. And I have to tell you guys, so many different people in my life and sometimes I have found that certain people in my life do not deserve to hear every thought that rambles through my tiny wooden head. I feel like I love talk therapy because I get to give a therapist my first draft of my thoughts and feelings and concerns, and then I get to give my loved ones the more organized, actionable, calm version. And I just feel like the people that I love deserve that. They don't deserve the raw version that later I have to try to like backpedal and apologize for. BetterHelp is awesome because it's completely online. It's convenient. You can work it in your schedule, and it's very flexible. I mean, you can cancel and reschedule all the time. I mean, I've sometimes the day before, two days before, just completely moved an appointment. It's great because you can fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. They even offer different classes. Like let's say there's a relationship style or a like PTSD, like anything you want to learn more about in a group setting, there's like online courses for that that are available to you. Get it all off your chest with BetterHelp. Go to BetterHelp.com slash bald today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. Hi. This episode is sponsored by ZocDoc. You know when you get cornered by your Uncle Fritz at a family gathering and you feel like you kind of have to bend the truth? You know the deal. Uncle Fritz asks you when you're going to stop doing drag and finally settle down to have 2.5 kids and a dog and marry a woman named Marlene. Or why you didn't get that promotion at the lion training business you've been working at for seven long years. Or even worse, Fritz asks if that magenta rash on your left butt cheek has cleared up yet. And you just don't know how to answer because your mouth is full of stale pretzels and whatever off-brand soda you managed to find in the wood-paneled fridge from 1972. While you may have to deal with your weird uncle, you shouldn't feel that way when talking to your doctor about the superfluous nipple that has sprouted up on your left shoulder. Enter ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book doctors who will make you feel comfortable and actually listen to you. And we're not just talking about a handful of doctors. We're talking about tens of thousands of doctors, all with verified patient reviews, so you can make sure the vibes are decidedly unfritz-like before you meet in real life. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search online and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. With ZocDoc, you've got more options than you know. I love ZocDoc because I compromise in life enough. When it comes to my health, I don't want to compromise. I've compromised enough with my family, and they're all dead. I want to see the best doctor I can, and ZocDoc helps me find that doctor and book them so I don't have to deal with some weird doctor in Malibu who surfs on the weekends and wears a floral shirt to my appointment. Listen, if someone has to touch my bits and pieces during an exam... I want a professional. My bits are huge and my pieces are tiny. I can find a great doctor and so can you all because of ZocDoc. Go to ZocDoc.com slash bald and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then you can book a top rated doctor today. 
That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash bald. ZocDoc dot com slash bald. What would you rather do? Shit yourself diarrhea blast one time every month. Like, I'd be furiously. What? 10 second warning. Or you piss yourself a little bit every day. The shit. Really? Yeah. The shit. 10, 10 second warning? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. How, really? Love that. Just let it go. Might as well go out with a bang. I mean, at this point in my life, with the surgery comes something called dumping. Mama, oh. And sometimes you get a 10 second warning. <laughs> but it, dumping is a, kind of a little bit like... Literal. I mean, oh could, yes. Dump, dump, well, okay. dumping means they call it dumping, but it's really like your your body's like overwhelmed with uh, like either like the sugar or something. Yeah. Blah, blah. I don't really pay attention. Sure, sure, sure. But like your body just kind of like shuts down. You kind of have to like lay down, and sometimes you like instantly shit yourself or like throw up a little. Mm. If I eat too much, I start foaming at the mouth like oh, rabies, on, and then it really? all bubbles up. And I literally, I have literally thrown up food without any stomach bile. Literally, just the, just the food hits the here, and then it's like, nope, got to come back. I'm sensing a double act here. A double act here, or maybe just a single act. Oh, uh, you know, you yeah. got to work into this. You got to work this uh, uh, foaming at the mouth gig, yeah. and then you know the what is it dumping? I'm literally over the kitchen sink, like, uh, uh. and then you just yeah. switch around, sit in the sink, blow that shit up. I yeah. love that it's called dumping, which is like, what does that mean? Oh, it's shitting. Yeah, yeah, it's like. You're never going to believe what this term it, it, it describes. Science doctors. I'm pretty sure it was developed somewhere in like Sweden or I don't know. I, know, I think it was, um, that. it was a Marie Curie, right? After the radiation yes, discovery. It's just like, what could we call I think it was Dr. Shitting? Kavorkian, wasn't it? Who did a, a, a line of, um, of uh, poisonous li- military jackets. <laughs> Listen, are you for euthanasia? Uh, I would rather do youth in like uh, Europe. Okay, fine. <laughs> what about it's prettier? Well, what I don't know. We've never been to Asia. Have you been? To, you've been to Asia. I'm, I've been to Santa Barbara. No, I love every Asia. girl over the age of twenty five has a cucumber, cucumber. in the house. <laughs> yeah. Suella, no. Um, my God, fuck Asia. I love Hong Kong. Maybe not so much anymore because of all the. I want to go to Japan. I. I, I think out of everywhere, I'd love to go to Japan. I would love to. I would love to go to Japan too. I think that's that's the one place where I'm like, yeah. I think they got they Mama, got everything I'm after. Get into this. We could dress up in business suits. We could work a eighty hour eighty hour work week, and then we could get so tired and just fall asleep on the on the ground. Nobody will rape or rob us here. No, in Japan. Oh, oh, yeah, They're yeah, like, yeah. Oh God, you know the heck. Uh, the work week is so hectic. Just fall asleep in the street. People are falling asleep in the street. And not getting raped or robbed. Or accused of being homeless. Or even dumped on. Would you rather be, if you fell asleep in the street, would it be, would would you rather be uh, raped, robbed, or accused of being homeless? I would rather be robbed of my... uh, No, I'd rather be raped, but I would have to, like... No, 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 no. And only only because... Willingly. I would prosthetically close up all the holes. Oh, you would wear one of your silicone pussy no, shorts? No, 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 no. I'd get some real, like, Dune CGI FX. Like, Seven? Remember the movie Seven? Of course I do. Wait, you don't want me to do that, do you? The razor blades? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Did Was there... Was it, it the it condom was, full, it, covered in razor blades, or no, was the pussy it, it was, filled with it razor was blades? A, unfortunately, for the people at home, I have to I have to say, it was a it was a dildo on a um, it was a knife dildo. Wait, are you talking about the lust one? Uh, I'm talking the movie Seven. Yeah. So the Where, guy had a strap on dildo that was made out of razor, like a yeah, knife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Horrible. That movie is so dark and horrible. It really is. You know how the, you know the, the hair dyed dark and lovely? That movie is just dark and horrible. Oh. It's rotten. There's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot there to unpack, like in the box and all. Although I do love Gwyneth Paltrow being killed in, in as many movies as possible. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Um, 
So you have not been yet on Drag Race. No. Do you think that you're above it? Do you think that you do you think that RuPaul is um, fat phobic? Well, do you think that she's fat phobic? Do you think that she's um, intimidated by your hot girl shit, hot girl energy, is hot girl that? dump? I think that's, <laughs> I think she's intimidated by the hot girl dump. I mean, it's scalding, Mama. Who freaking knows what season are we at? Fifteen, fifty-eight, fifty-eight. Yeah, not including the one from um, Warsaw and. I mean, listen, if I know one thing, if drag is a crime, then lock me up. I'm going to wear my crown and strap my stuff. <laughs> I mean, well, is there anything well, else left to say? I, I can't even imagine. It would be, I, I can't imagine what's more embarrassing. Me having to like create those lyrics myself in real time on TV or shamefully beforehand having to reach out to someone to write them for me. No, 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 no. I don't think any of that happened. The latter, I don't think happened. But I, I was telling you about this. Don't you think it's time for me and you to get the good old cross dress and Tiffany Club um, low key flat wig, silky penwar, chemisol, spaghetti oh, strap, yes. short nail, a bracelet oh, or two? No, they wear the long gloves. The long gloves. Long gloves. You long can do gloves. long gloves. That's too formal for Lace me. Lace gloves. Lace gloves. Lace cami. Cami secret. And then I psh. rip away to the. They. I think they were the ones that really ushered in. Well, because you remember the fem skin. Of course, how could I forget? They ushered in the breastplate. Cross dressers ushered in the breastplate for everyone else because I remember back in like early early two thousands there was a website called Fem Skin. Oh yeah, and it was a full body. Was that like Julie masking? It was um, uh, JoJo Siwa. No, no, yeah. J- Jimbo. It was Jim J- Jimbo Siwa. Uh, what Jimbo Siwa is now? <laughs> what about her being drunk at Disneyland, making people sing to her songs? Wait, Jimbo? No. Oh, jo- listen, JoJo, JoJo Siwa jo- being fake drunk at Disneyland, is, forcing people to sing along to her music. She's in a faux lesbian post-ironic renaissance. She said she's the only influencer who also does music. I mean, where's the lie? Many lies, actually. <laughs> well, what about Jennifer Lawrence saying that, you know, when we did the Hunger Games, uh, there had never been a woman cast as an action um, movie. Did Sigourney Weaver star. fly out of her chest I was at like, that let's point? See. And then Donna, Pat, Lori, Shelley, Rose, Brian. I mean, we got Wonder Woman. We got Supergirl. We got Alien, Sigourney Weaver. Yeah. We got uh, Lucy Liu. We got Vivica Fox. We got Uma Carrie Thurman. Fisher. We got Carrie Fisher. We got, oh my God, Pam Greer. Yeah. We got fucking um, everybody in the fucking uh, Catwoman. Literally. We got my old landlady who stood like chase me on with a broom. Yeah. Oh, I Mama. <laughs> you, listen, I want to paint you. I I've said this maybe it was a while ago, so I want to repeat it. My landlady my landlady said, Do you have AIDS? <laughs> Cause I had psoriasis on my face. <laughs> and I'm reminded of when Andrew Yang for no reason said to Amy Doan. You don't have AIDS, do you, Amy? Bizarre. What? You don't have AIDS, do you, Amy? Like help AIDS? Provoked. No, 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 no. H H I V. H I. Crazy. Um, she's like, oh, if you have um AIDS, you know, you could just you could slide it between their thighs. You don't have to do all that anal sex. What? What year was this? This was uh 1980. No, this was uh 2004. Yeah. It sounds about right. Right. You remember the, the right when the Titanic was the like Titan. the, the the anniversary of the Titanic, which always really. <laughs> well, where's Kate? Where's Kate Middleton? A oh, Winslet or Middleton? A <laughs> Winslet. Kate Winslet. Is she? Is she? Is she? Is she what? With child? I mean, I would love that. Is she dead? Kate, is Did Kate, Kate Winslet die? Kate, no, Kate Middleton. Kate, Kate Middleton. Middleton. Kate Middleton. <laughs> oh my God, not Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet. She'll <laughs> she'll stay forever. She survived the Titanic. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I think it would be a big get for the royal family. 
for her to die. I don't wish it. That would it. be a curse. I don't wish it at all. It would mean Princess Diana mm -hmm. and then the other almost queen both dying before they reach <sighs> the, the, the crown. I know, but if you think it's about- It's a race for the crown. I know, but if you think about then like Ruth Bader Ginsburg, that lambada in heaven, that is like, you know what I mean? Ruth. Ruth. Um, Ruth. What about Ruth. what about in uh, in Veep? Get me there at Diana Speed. I love oh my that. God. I love that. What, what else did you say? I'm going to make sweet, sweet hate to your mouth and ass. God, that, they don't make it like that anymore. No, they really don't. Get what's what's your favorite um, three things about uh, being a skinny legend now? Uh, the clothing. Mm -hmm. uh, flying is a game changer. Do you worry about dumping in the plane? And no, because I can fit in the bathroom now. Ugh, incredible. Mama, how do people any bigger than this? I'm tall. I sometimes have to do this when I stand up in that bathroom. How does anybody, even uh, 50 pounds heavier than me, try to shit in a, in a plane? I think, that they, they, I think that's why they're so obsessed with bring on carry-ons. You shit in the carry-on? Yeah, you shit in the carry-on and then you try to just... I hate... I mean, imagine being six foot six inches tall getting on an economy flight oh it is bound to thailand it is insane it isn't it is insane the first time i ever flew long distance overseas was with miss mattel to australia and i was in the back of the plane just contemplating whether or not I want the plane to go down. Yeah. Is it murder? Is it suicide? Is it a little bit of both? And I'm like, I don't want the plane to go down six hours in. I want the plane to go down 15 minutes in. Thank you. I, I'd like, I don't want it halfway through the flight. D do it during takeoff. Mm. Do it during takeoff. Or do like a fun, like, whoa, 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 fake out and then just... You know, give, give me enough time to like pull my ween out and like flash it through the window <laughs> and like, you know, moon the moon, the people as we're going down or something like that. Palliative care, um, like yes. 30, 30, 3000 miles in the air fashion walk. <laughs> but constantly I am reminded that I'm always on planes with you and her now. Mm -hmm. So I am always reminded that the, the headlines would read. No, 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 no. <laughs> It would be um, it would, uh, form, uh, formerly fat, now like deliciously skinny, uh, drag diva extraordinaire, um, and along with joyless curmudgeon <laughs> makeup company <laughs> mogul uh, and free spirit, shaped. <laughs> no free spirit who did nothing but scream Calgon take me away for twenty full minutes before the plane crashed. <laughs> but I would love all that, but then the plane doesn't actually crash. Oh. The Oh God, that's when I go to Burbank. I buy me a firearm, and I just <laughs> oh, and the I super just super gun store. And I just finish what store. God should have did. <laughs> you know what God did do? What the third favorite thing about being skinny legend? What, Mama? It doesn't get better; it gets bigger. Your polyps in the oh oh yeah oh dang how Ooh. oh. Oh, oh, I see. Yes. When, when the, when the, when the sands re um, return, when the dunes fade away, fade away. Yes. The giant sequoia. Um, yeah. yeah wait, this, we're mixing, we're mixing ec ecological, um, yeah. Ecosystems there, it's but yeah. Great. Yeah. It's great. Stamina and all of that is energy going up and down stairs. Yeah. It's, it, it's all, it's all incredible. Like I, you know, now, I mean, at like doing drag at this new body, are you worried because of the prominence of your penis that you, that you will be considered oh, no, more it, than ever a groomer? I make it a full feature, full oh, feature. Yeah. Grooming is, grooming is not in the back of my mind. It is in the front of my mind. She is, um, what, Judy, uh, what, 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 what? We could, I, I could, I could talk a little bit. What, what, what? <laughs> about... <laughs> Ashley Michelle? No. No, we can uh, save that for the other one. <laughs> Mercedes. I want to say gr grooming. I don't believe in reading or performing for children unless they're adults. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, because you did a Recently. gig for adult babies. I now did. Now let that sink in. I'm going to say that again. She did a gig for adult babies. Grooming, me thinks not. No, mama. If anything, they're grooming you to change their fucking diapers. It was fierce. It was fierce. Yeah. Let me tell you about let me tell you about um, people that uh, dress in that sort of way. It's pee. similar to drag. Well, because pee pee. A lot of pee pee. A lot of pee, but a lot of layers. And guess what? Are people with a lot of layers like shitting some air, shitting them? air conditioning. Oh, baby. That venue was kept with shitty crisp. and cool. <laughs> cool crisp. and shit. There was now, no way that that shit came out and didn't instantly freeze. <laughs> Arctic baby event. Arctic baby no, event. No, I mean for real though. Did they do number two? No, 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 no. I not that I did. I, not I'm in not their a, diapers. I'm not aware of. I'm not aware of any of that. Okay. I am aware that they were all paying attention. They were all very respectful. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you about people that uh, that the king community is all about um, asking. What is it called? Asking for permission. Um, consent. Consent. And they use funnels so that you don't get a lot of the urine splash everywhere. Yes, that's so from, rude. From my ass yeah. to your mouth. Uh, it's fabulous. It was um, fabulous. They were wonderful. One um, last note I want to leave you with is that, Mama, when I go to that adult baby fucking party, baby, do you know what's going to happen? I'm going to be double diaped. And dumped. Oh, I, I'm yeah. taking it's it's gonna be come take me to dump it town. I mean it's gonna be it's but gonna ima be. imagine imagine on a plane, you're on a 16 hour flight, you can't fit in the bathroom. Well, I mean, that's why you bring come your on. own hot water bottle filled, you know. The only bathroom I ever fit in on, on the plane was in Emirates. Oh, and what a fucking luxurious thing that is. Oh, I hope yeah. you shit all over the floor, oh, everywhere. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy that I uh, threatened Mattel's life, Miss, Miss, Tracy, Miss Trixie's life to get me into business class. Threatened yeah. her life. I think we should keep that, that, uh, that going, the threat. Right of, Why um, do you think she's not here? Mm. Guess we'll never know. Oh, no, we will when we see her dismembered body next week. <laughs> In court. <laughs> yes. Um, last question. Marsha Clark or? Marsha P. Clark Johnson. Thank you. Uh, um, uh, defending you in court. Oh, that reminds me. I want to get a perm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what if I came you back with a Marsha Clark perm? What if I came back Why with a Marsha Clark perm? You would look Hunty. I think, okay, so I'm thinking like I get the TikTok fuckboy perm. I get all of my skin soldered off. I come back. You won't be able to keep clothing on me. Mama, you, the, the, the clothing, the. <sighs> you won't be able to keep me clothed. You will not. Your body will have such effectively created this force field that repels any garment. Yeah. And your. And uggos. Uggos? Uggos. The yeah. shoes? Or no, just ug pe ugly people. Ug ugly people, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they, It's my turn to be discriminated. It's your, yeah, discriminated. Thank you. Yeah. We hate uglies. We hate fats. We yeah. hate... Um, and I can say that because I once was. Yeah. We hate people from Connecticut. Um, we can't stand uh, toxic German waste. shepherds. <laughs> yeah. Um, where can people find you? Oh, also, we're starting a podcast, ho. Yeah, we're going to continue this. We're going to continue this, but we're going to be uh, we're going to be a little more focused. I think tomorrow um, or or the next episode, we're going to air our grievances specifically on Leanne Rhymes, <sighs> homewrecker Leanne Rhymes. Uh, thank you, Eddie Cibrian. Also, we're going to talk about Cheryl Crow, and we're going to discuss at length whether, in fact, it is her summer. It is the soaking. It has she lost her touch in the soaking of the yeah. sun? Soak what up? Soak what sun? Up? What soak what up? That yeah. alcoholism on a Tuesday. She did do that song with um, Kid Kid Rock. God, what did it say? I have a friend who sucks and he drinks, and I like Tuesday drinking. Oh, it's sunny and out. We're shooting beer. I want to soak up the sun. Or no, no, no. On All Santa wanna, Monica Boulevard, Mama. And his name is Bobby and he's a drunk and I'm drunk too. And there's no rhymes in this song, but it's okay. Cause it's Tuesday and I have alcoholism. and look at my red nose and I'm going to, Oh my God, cirrhosis. All I want to do cirrhosis. is have some fun. It's wild. Yeah. Soak up the cirrhosis. Side. Okay. 
thank you so much. Thank you for, yeah. And uh, I'm not leaving until the check clears. Okay. Trixie told me that there was going to be. It's actually one of those magic eye checks. And it's, you just have to clear. (laughs) You just have to like, you just. (laughs) Could you imagine? My God. It starts out Cheryl Crow, but then it ends into like, you know. It it, it ends mm, ends in, in a spell where you turn into. Clear, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pile of shit. Yeah, there you go. Bag of shit. Dumping, dumping, dumping. Well, uh, listen, what a, what a run. I mean, congratulations on your... Are you going to lose more weight? Is that- See, I don't know. So next week I have my one year follow-up with my surgeon and he'll feel <laughs> my breasts and my titties, my titties, my breasts, my boobs, and my thighs, my, my inner legs. And um, this is the funny part about my surgeon, though, real quick. He is the most efficiently quick and there there is no personal nothing he walks in he's like how you doing you okay you're good <laughs> no, no right, bedside bye. manner he's like literally all right hey fatty we're gonna make you skinny yeah so <laughs> get out of here yeah it's like go we got one we got five we got yeah i, yeah. I have a really busy schedule i would that's love to get words. this done in two oh that's even too many words but hey, the best part, hi get out I, I think he has a little bit of a sense of humor because right before i'm on the table and right before i go under i grab him by the arm and I say, you take as much out as you want and don't forget the implants. But you should have been like, you take as much out and you put as much in, if you know what I mean, baby. They have a little bit of a sense of humor in that, in the, in that way. Oh, I think that would be sexual harassment, though. No, uh, that only if you get home. <laughs> <laughs> well, only... <laughs> We'll talk about oh, it. Oh, we'll Jesus talk about Christ. It next time. Imminent cancellation. Here we go. Uh, wait, are you watching Hacks? Last oh, thing I, I swear yes, to God. Yes, I am. Are you kidding me? Deborah. Yeah. Deborah. It just, it it's impossible for shows to get this good. This, you know. It, it keeps getting better. Yeah. Three seasons in. Uh, and these days, that's like impossible. Uh, that's like, I don't know, uh, the record of uh, 28 seasons of Friends or Leave It to Beaver or whoever the fuck. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, MASH. It's, I think I think it's because we have like women f- comedians at mm. the helm, which is very dangerous because they cannot stop driving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I really do want to drive one of those Roll, Roll, Rolls Royces. Oh. What her fancy car with the the doors open the wrong way? The door. I, and then there's an umbrella that pops out out of the thing. I know. Is that the only fierce thing about it though? Cause then that seems like a lot to I think that I think rich people just like to have a, a big bulky thing and then, you know, all of a sudden boop, the thing pops out of here and yeah. it's like a magical like also it probably has a grill in the trunk. I just bought a grill. Good for you. We gotta go. <laughs> um, what are you grilling up? Let's say um I'm grilling up on Instagram. I'm grilling up on Twitter very uh infrequently. I've also and she's got... grilling the lame stream media, baby. <laughs> <laughs> thank and, you. Thank you. Um, we'll see you next time. <laughs>